At this time, we're deeply proud to honor our Howard Rock Alaska Native Leader Awardee. This person is shown through their quality of character and effort to be a leader of distinct caliber because they put their community and people before themselves. This year, we're honored to recognize the dedication and life's work of Avidnyak Terry Walker. <laughs> and we have a short video we would love to show for you. At First Alaskans Institute, we're proud to honor Avinyak Terry Walker with the Howard Rock Alaska Native Leader Award this year. The Howard Rock Alaska Native Leader Award really goes to somebody who has dedicated their career towards the betterment of our Alaska Native community and made significant strides in working towards that. Our people know and understand that historically the education system has been one that has not been friendly to Alaska Native people. Something that I have always been in awe of is that throughout all of time, our people have always fought within every system to ensure that our people can live who we are, that we fight for our right to have access to our knowledge, to be who we are as Alaska Native people. I remember how hard it was to leave family and village to seek an education. Terry did that. At that time, seeking an academic degree was a lonesome process. It was hard to leave the village and family. She persevered because she believed in herself and wanted to help others like her make their potential become a reality. She came from a small village of Buckland and earned a master's in education. Now, to me, that's commitment. Within the education system, it's vital for us to have Alaska Native people who understand deeply what it means to be an Alaska Native person, to carry the responsibilities with our family and with our communities, to have education that is relevant to who we are as Alaska Native people. As a teacher in the classroom, she has always placed a high emphasis on the youth to encourage them to thrive and to succeed. As a principal, she encouraged the teachers to stay connected to their community and to the values of the people that she was wor there working with. As a superintendent, she's working hard on a science-based curriculum with teachers from the local environment, providing opportunities for elders and culture bearers to have a place in the learning process. She has also worked hard to make sure that new teachers were familiar with the history and culture of the students and parents that they would be working with. Congratulations, Avingak. You deserve this award, and we encourage others to be excited about learning and teaching, just as you have been. Kuyana for your service. In our language, uh, Avingak means mouse. But when it came to education up north, she was the mouse that roared. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're very proud. Uh, like I said in my little statement, uh, coming from a small community, tearing yourself away from loved ones is not easy, and uh, particularly back in those days. And so uh, Terry did that. And so I guess our challenge is to, we need dozens more like Terry, uh, taking leadership in education because it is so important that our children have an opportunity uh, to take control of their lives, provide for their families, and, uh, and she's doing that just every day. So congratulations for this award that we are giving you. Koyana. You know, I sure didn't get here by myself. There's just so many people. I could take so much of your time thanking everybody that has helped me to get to where I am today. Um, 
my husband of 34 years, you know, just right there by my side encouraging me, my, my daughters who have become my best friends, whenever I'm in doubt of my leadership or my role, moving me forward, uh, you know, I have a whole table of people who have inspired me, who have uh, just helped me to, uh, to move along in this path. Uh, since I was four years old, maybe three, since before I even called before I even remember, I knew I was going to be a teacher. I would tell uh, the elders in Buckland and and uh, those around me that that's what I was going to do. Um, uh, it was my, my, my mission in life. And I feel very fortunate that I work with the people I do in the district office who, um, you know, they always say, surround yourself with smarter people. Boy, they sure know what they're doing in the field of education. So I, I really appreciate uh, the people that I work with. And, and, and most of all, I appreciate the leadership that the board and the support and dedication that, that our board, and I have a couple board members here, that, and the vision that they provide also. They were so lucky and so very fortunate to have the same vision of, of our schools where, where we have our culture in the building represented with our students. When they walk in the door, they have community members greeting them just as much as they have you know, the staff that work there. And the staff and the students are learning throughout the day. It's not just Inupac day every five days a year. Every day is an Inupac day in that building. <laughs> And we're not there yet, but we're going to continue to work towards it. And for me to stand here and to receive an award like this is such an honor. And just to congratulate Sue and, and Karina, I just, um, and, and I really appreciate the Board of Trustees, Igarruk, and the rest of the board for honoring me with uh, such an award. I've known Willie for 30 years and have admired his leadership from afar. And uh, Liz Medicine Crow, I've known you forever too, although I don't think uh, uh, we've met too many times, but the incredible work that you do in uplifting and empowering all Alaskans to embrace their unique identities and strengths. I, I just, I'm so appreciative and, and just thank everybody tonight. Koyana. Deku Avenyak. Our people deserve to see ourselves reflected in the things that we learn in school. And it's so critical to have people who know our ways of life in the positions of making decisions about what is taught in our school and how it is taught. Can we give Avignac and all of our awardees another round of applause? <laughs> 